Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we seen that how we can generate a scaffold resource using a scaffold and what we get when we generate a scaffold resource. So we see that we get a model, a controller, views for standard controller actions and a database migration and an entry to routes.rb file for that particular resource that we generate. And now we also saw that uh, how we can create records and how we can update an existing records and how we can destroy records which uh, for our resource and we also try by saving few records without entering any data for their attributes and that is where we need to add some validation because in real world case uh, we always want to avoid that all information or all attribute values should be empty or can be empty because there are some few values like uh, that can be the value for those attributes can be optional but uh, we have only name address email and contact field so we cannot leave any of these fields uh, uh, empty because all these attributes seems uh, required in real world so we will add some validations here so now let's do that open your user.rb file user model and add some validations here yeah but before adding any validation let's define what the validations are and what is the importance of these and why we should use that so validations are nothing but uh, validations add some constraint to your model attributes like uh, uh, whether some attributes should be present or can be empty whether uh, some attribute should be unique or not and whether what should be the length of some what should be the length of values of some uh, attributes like uh, for example your name cannot be start with numeric so it should be uh, character only and for example if you have an age, age attribute then your age should be less than 99 and greater than 18 or whatever it is and your name must have a fixed length like uh, for example your name cannot exit more than 50 characters so there are many validations and for email and contact number fields that these should be unique because in real world every user has its own unique address no two users can share the common email so that's why we can add multiple uh, different type of validation according to our need here and uh, these are validations are important because uh, they avoid saving null values into the database because null values never help in forming any kind of information yeah there are some values that can be optional but uh, not all values inside a model should be optional there should be some validation that we need to add so let's start adding validation for our user model here we will add first presence true validation so we will check that all the attributes all the values all the attributes must have some values no attribute can be saved as blank or nil let's use dates name email address contact presence and true so this is the validation that i want to use name email address contact presence true presence true will check that uh, on submitting the form these values are present or not you can take these values here let's try with this presence true validation first open a new user form and submit that you can see here that rails is checking for existence of all the values name email address and contact okay so now let's uh, save the email now let's save this user you can see that user has been saved into the database now back to the index page now but you can see a different thing here that both users first user and the second user last user shares the common email 
मनीष एट द रेट सी एम एस डॉट कॉम मनीष एट द रेट सी एम एस डॉट कॉम दैट वी शुड अवॉइड बिकॉज नो टू ई मेल्स कैन नो टू यूजर्स कैन हैव सेम ई मेल वैल्यूज सो नाउ लेट्स एड अनदर वेलिडेशन ई मेल एंड आई एम एडिंग दैट वेलिडेशन फॉर कॉन्टेक्ट टू that is uniqueness true so this will check that whether the value entered is already existing in database or not if uh, any value with that but for that field is already existing in that table then it will raise uh, it will give fail the valid validation and if that does not exist any value like that then it will pass the validation so let's check this let's try updating this just simply update this user you will see that manish at the red cms has already been taken because this is the email for first user as well now let's say mark i will say that now you can see that this user has been updated and with some diff unique email now test this uh, validation on new with new user as well let's say alex cms dot com before a for a no contact here so now you'll see that the same address same error mark at the cms has already been taken here this has been saved so here our validation works so we need only these two validations here like uh, contact and email uniqueness and presence true and name and address only presence true because uh, name of two users can be same and address of two users can be same so uh, i'm not adding uniqueness cons validation for name and address field but yeah here we can change the writing of uh, this we should write it like this because uh, so you can see here now i added presence true for email and contact in the second line because uh, it is the standard that uh, rail suggests that uh, if you are uh, splitting your validation for some attributes in multiple lines then add all the validation rules for those attributes in a single line do not uh, split them in multiple lines however that will work but uh, it's your choice but i am just showing this for uh, what the suggested what is the best practice suggested by rails so you should add presence to a uniqueness model in the same line here and even for more better thing you can add presence true and uh, uniqueness validation like this so make presence true first and then check uniqueness because we first need to check whether the value is present or not and then we can check then we should check uniqueness now this is what we have checked from database now let's play at console for testing some validations only Let's try user equal to user dot new. Now let's say user dot valid. User dot valid returns false. Why? Because uh, user do not have any value for name, email, contact address. Now if I we will create user like this, user dot new. user user at example.com here contact so contact number here
now you will see that user dot valid is true why because we have added name email address and contact values here so when i say this will save the user but if i say user like this and i call user dot save this will roll back the transaction why because no values provided for name email address and contact so this was the purpose of uh, this video to show how to use validation and how we can check that uh, whether our the record we are trying to save is valid or not so this can be doable by validation check and in the next lecture we will right because right now we are just uh, uh, making manual entries here but to test large amount of data we will use a faker gem to populate dummy data into database dummy data for users table into database so we will use faker gem there and so that's for now for this lecture we'll see you in next till then tata goodbye and thanks for watching this